everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexo Ray and welcome to another video I'm so glad you're here I'm so glad you clicked on today's video I feel like we can all agree when I say I just simply do not need any more books in my life no no, that doesn't sound right. I feel like I could always use more books in my life. I am supposed to be on a book buying ban. I wanted to be on a book buying ban for at least like the first few months of 2023 just because I have so many books. <laughs> Guys, I have so many books on my physical TBR. It's not even funny. I am breaking that book buying ban today. We are going to be going shopping today at our favorite place in the world, Barnes & Noble. I am so excited. This is like the earliest I've ever come book shopping, I think, because it's going on 10 a.m. I just had to drop Osiris off at the Groomers. If you don't know, I have an Australian Shepherd, and if you're familiar with that dog breed, their hair is just almost untamable honestly and it grows so so fast they shed like crazy so I just dropped him off at his groomers and I thought while he was getting his hair cut it'd be kind of fun to stop over at Barnes & Noble because it's literally like right around the corner that's what we're doing I'm super excited I don't really have anything crazy on my list to look for I'm just kind of going in there for funsies we're gonna look around see if anything catches our eye and then you guys already know at the very end we're gonna do a super fun book haul also I cannot believe we are going on one year since you and me started. I think I posted my first ever bookstore vlog at the end of January. I just can't believe we've been going book shopping together now for literally a year. That is just so wild to me. I can't believe it. I have been rambling now for far too long. I haven't had my coffee yet today. I think that's why I'm feeling a little loony right now, which means we'll probably stop at the cafe and get some coffee, but we're going to start the day off right with some book shopping and a cutie little book haul. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited. And without further ado, let's go book shopping. Really quick, I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark VPN. About halfway through my book shopping, I decided to go to the cafe, grab a chai latte, sit down, and do a little work on my laptop. Surfshark VPN was there to protect me. If you're not familiar with Surfshark or what a VPN is, it is a virtual private network. It keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. Also, a VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. What I love most about having a VPN is it secures my online data. Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing attempts allowing you to surf the web safely. Masking your IP address is essential to becoming private online. A VPN makes sure that your city, country, and download history aren't linked to your identity. Surfshark also doesn't monitor, track, or store what you do online. Because I do a lot of work on my laptop between YouTube, school, and just daily life I love working out at coffee shops Barnes and Noble just to get a little change of scenery and with that I am constantly using public Wi-Fi so having Surfshark is such a savior because I'm always protected when I'm working out in public another cool thing about Surfshark VPN is you can actually change your virtual location Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 95 countries you can access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from other countries like all of the Netflix libraries which I absolutely love because there are so many shows and movies on Netflix that I can't access being in my home country so it's super cool to change my virtual location where I can then access those movies because the internet is such an essential in everyone's daily life it is so so important to protect yourself and Surfshark VPN can do that for you you can use my code Alexa to get 83% off plus three extra months free Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk with trying it out and you guys can check it out using the link in my description.
that went so much better than I literally expected it to go. I found so many I bought so many books. I just was not expecting to walk in there and them to have like every book that I mentally had on my TBR and on my wish list. When I walked in there and I saw that they had all these new books in stock, I was literally in shock. I was like, um, okay, I can't, I can't pass up this opportunity. We are going to jump right into it. It was such a successful bookstore trip for me. So I picked up five books and they are all amazing books already. I'm going to love all of these books. I'm so excited. This is so adorable. They gave me these cutie Barnes & Noble bookmarks. So the first book I picked up is The Final Offer by Lauren Asher. This is book three in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I'm literally so, so excited for this. I've heard so many incredible things about this book. Book three in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I am so excited. I love the covers of all these books. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Callahan. I'm the cane brother everyone gossips about behind closed doors. Trust fund brat. Washed up athlete. High functioning alcoholic. No one knows the real me but her. Lana Castillo. My childhood best friend and the only woman I've ever loved. Already off to a good start. When I broke her heart six years ago, I promised to never return to Lake Wisteria. I kept my word until my grandfather's will changed everything. To receive my inheritance, I was tasked with spending a summer at the family lake house before selling it. The request was simple in theory until my entire plan blew up on the very first day. Turns out Lana doesn't just live at the house, but she claims to own it too. It sounds amazing already. Alana. Falling in love with Callahan Kane was a mistake. He told me so before destroying my heart and our friendship six summers ago. When he promised never to come back, I foolishly believed him. But then Cal showed up again, intending to sell his grandfather's lake house. The biggest flaw in his plan? My name is on the deed. I'm literally so, so excited for this. They had so many of these in stock. I have not been able to find this at any Barnes & Noble, so I was so in shock when I found it. Next up, we have Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll. I feel like I haven't seen anyone talk about this book. I haven't seen this book anywhere. I just recently watched the film. It just came out on Netflix and it's starring Mila Kunis. I watched that film a few nights ago. I was totally blown away. It was a very suspenseful type of film. I was so sucked in. I love Mila Kunis. So I saw this today on the mystery thriller table and I had to pick it up. I love the film so much. I can only assume that the book is even better because usually the books are better than the film. I have to say going into it, it was not what I expected. I was totally blown away by the ending. It was definitely a dark type of film in my opinion. It covers really sensitive topics. So anyways, I picked up the book and I'm really excited. Her perfect life is a perfect lie. As a teenager at the prestigious Bradley School, Annie Finelli endured a shocking public humiliation that left her desperate to reinvent herself. Now with a glamorous job, expensive wardrobe, and handsome blue blood fiance, she's this close to living the perfect life she's worked so hard to achieve. But Annie has a secret. There's something else buried in her past that threatens to bubble to the surface and ruin everything. With a singular voice and twist you won't see coming, Luckiest Girl Alive introduced is a heroine whose cutthroat ambition has protected a scandalous truth and a heart that's much bigger than it appears. The question remains, will breaking her silence destroy all that she's worked for or will it at long last set Ani free? I'm so excited for this. I know this is going to be so good. I'm telling you right now, the film on Netflix was incredible. Absolutely recommend if you haven't seen the film yet. Following that, I picked up The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. This book, probably not even new to you guys because I feel like this book has been everywhere lately. I've seen so many people read it, review it, say that it's absolutely amazing. So naturally I had to pick it up because it was right there on the table next to Luckiest Girl Alive. I was like, you know what? Why not? We're going to pick this up. I'm trying to branch out this year, read more thrillers, mysteries. So I thought this would be a great addition to my little journey. His mistress is dead. His wife is his only hope. I'm excited. Would you defend your husband if he was accused of killing his mistress? Sarah Morgan is a successful and powerful defense attorney in Washington, D.C. At 33 years old, she is a named partner at her firm and life is going exactly how she planned. The same cannot be said for her husband, Adam. He is a struggling writer who has had little success in his career. He begins to tire of his and Sarah's relationship as she is constantly working. Out in the secluded woods at Adam and Sarah's second home, Adam engages in a passionate affair with Kelly Summers. Then one morning, everything changes. Adam is arrested for Kelly's murder. She had been found stabbed to death in Adam and Sarah's second home. Sarah soon finds herself playing the defender for her own husband, a man accused of murdering his mistress. Was Adam guilty or is he innocent? Or did Sarah kill her because she wanted to get revenge on her cheating husband? 
I feel like it can't be that because it's just too easy. Next up we have a very exciting book. It is the newest Never After novel, Twisted by Emily McIntyre. I recently read booked one in that series, Hooked, last month. I did a reading vlog if you guys want to go check it out. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad I didn't start this series sooner because it is incredible. Emily McIntyre takes all of our classic favorite fairy tales and she basically rewrites them in reimaginings. So Hooked was a reimagining of Peter Pan and the main character was James Hook and we watch him fall in love with Wendy and it was literally insane because going into it I was like there's no way I'm gonna like that book there's no way I'm going to be rooting for the villain it just seems impossible and then I read it I like the villains now it was literally incredible so twisted is book four in the series and it is actually a reimagining of aladdin we are rooting for jasmine and jafar tell me how the heck that's gonna work i don't know how but it's gonna work and i'm probably going to be obsessed with it and in some sick twisted reality i'm going to be rooting for jafar she's his diamond in the rough he's her worst nightmare yasmin daughter to one of the richest men in the world has never known strife so when her beloved father falls ill she's determined to make his final days his happiest his last wish to see her married to a man of his choosing except yasmin's heart already belongs to someone else a servant a man her father would never consider worthy stuck between a rock and a hard place yasmin strikes a desperate deal with her father's right hand man julian not realizing he has his own twisted agenda julian has one goal become the most powerful man in the world he's built a future from broken bones and faded bruises never caring who he hurt along the way but when his mentor falls ill he finds himself on the verge of losing everything and he'll stop at nothing to inherit what is rightfully his even if it means forcing a woman he cannot stand into marriage Yasmin is a brat who speaks out of turn and he's the villain of her story, but he decides she'll be his no matter what it takes to convince her. I cannot! Are you kidding? These books are so, so good. The last book I picked up is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This book is a very very popular i have heard nothing but incredible things about it i've heard even better things about the audiobook this will also be my first memoir that i've ever read jeanette mccurdy was six years old when she had her first acting audition her mother's dream was for her only daughter to become a star and jeanette would do anything to make her mother happy so she went along with what mom called calorie restriction eating little and weighing herself five times a day she endured extensive at-home makeovers while mom chided your eyelashes are invisible okay you think dakota fanning doesn't tint hers she was even showered by mom until age 16 and was also forced to share her diary's email and entire income. In I'm Glad My Mom Died, Jeanette recounts all of this in unflinching detail, just as she chronicles what happens when the dream finally comes true. Cast in a new Nickelodeon series called iCarly, she's thrust into fame. Though mom is ecstatic, emailing fan club moderators and getting on a first name basis with the paparazzi, Jeanette is riddled with anxiety, shame, and self-loathing, which manifests into eating disorders, addiction, and a series of unhealthy relationships. These issues only get worse when soon, after taking the lead in the iCarly spinoff of Sam and Cat alongside Ariana Grande, her mother dies of cancer. Finally, after discovering therapy and quitting acting, Jeanette embarks on recovery and decides for the first time in her life what she really wants. This is clearly going to be an insane story. I'm excited though to try it out. Those are all the books we picked up. I thought that was a very successful book shopping trip. I think we picked up some incredible books. I was not planning on getting that many books, but I'm happy we did because I found some really good ones. Oh, Sarah should be done with this appointment any second now, so we are gonna go head over and pick up the baby. I'm so, so excited. He is so freaking cute when he gets his hair cut. He's like this little fluff ball. He's just the most handsome. <laughs> I'm wearing a cute crew neck from PacSun. These cute leggings I got from Amazon and then some Adidas. We're going to the gym. Even though I don't want it. <laughs> That is all for my bookstore vlog, my little day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below the little teddy bear emoji. That's like my favorite emoji at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had so much fun book shopping with you guys today. I feel like we got so many cool and exciting books. I am most excited for Jeanette McCurdy's memoir. I think it's going to be incredible and I'm just, I'm really, really excited to read it. Stay tuned because I'll probably put that into like a reading vlog or something for sure but i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video